Hi, Linda Light here. I have a message for you today from my own inner connection and I just wanted to give a shout out to the Higher Self Channel, to Dawn for all your help and support for all my new subscribers. Thank you and um, you know definitely out of my comfort zone on starting a new YouTube channel but I guess if my process can help in some way then wonderful and if it helps I heard somebody say yesterday if it helped one it helps the many it was from the Arcturian Council and thank you for that message that was brilliant and um, found it on the higher self channel and um, I believe that too if I can only help one person and they go on to help many people that doesn't matter it's we all have a story to share we've all had pain and suffering and trauma and wounds and all of it betrayal and loss all, all of that we're all doing the work now we're healing we're purging whether we know it or not we're still doing it but um, I've been more of a private person and I just wanted to share that since I've been pushed to share a little bit about myself there's a little bit more about me on my about page and I did just put well yeah I guess it's the about yeah the about me on YouTube and the about me on my website so anyway there's more there if you want to know. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> so here we go. Um, as you awaken, you feel more. As you feel more, you heal more. As you heal more, you transform. I am going to be reading from this because it just came. I don't, I don't have it memorized. came through as like um, slam poetry. And the first couple poems that I put on my channel that I, my soul was pushing me to go out and perform at open mic nights, which is kind of silly when I think about it, but... Hey, you know, somebody might have heard what they needed to, but I don't want to be on a stage. I don't want to perform. And yet I needed to do this. So I guess maybe it was getting over a little bit of my fear of being in front of the camera and putting myself out there. Maybe it had something to do with that, maybe just a little. <laughs> so um, I was posting those videos thinking that they were slam poetry, not really knowing what slam was. I've seen a few, but... I thought it was just more freestyle, you know, like really expressing, I don't know. I just, I thought it was slam. So this is, this is slam and I just, I love it. It was so powerful and um, you'll see the process that I'm working through myself and okay, so enough of that. I'll just, I'll give it to you straight then come back. Here we go. When I wake up here again and quickly realize you're not, I'm hit with a wave of mixed emotions that often feels like a tsunami carrying everything in its wake. Even though I know you're okay, I miss you so much and can't help but feel you didn't want to leave us so soon. Realizing this pain, uh, releasing this pain is my job and I've done pretty well considering except the pain that's embedded so deep down, it could never be removed. So instead, I'm transmuting it. The only thing that will heal frozen wounds that are encased in scar tissue, like a mummified trophy that's always tapping my shoulder till I look, then screaming out, look at me, give me your attention because I hurt you the most. Yes, yes you did. And no other hurt pain betrayal trauma or loss can compare to you you win the prize for the deepest cut the loss of a child in my experience is a moment in time that can forever cast a shadow in the space-time continuum marring forever the once brightly colored hues that knew not this pain the ability to feel this deeply into the bowels of my soul was only known previously previously to me as something outside or attached as an entity, shadow, dark force, or being that wanted to hurt me. The fuse that was ignited with your death. The fuse was ignited with your death and I allowed it to burn all the way this time. I didn't step into step it into the earth. I didn't douse it with water or smother it from air. I allowed all the elements to run their course because honestly, I was too tired to do anything else. So the fire on the fuse of your death eventually caused an explosion and a an alchemical blast knocking down the previously unsurmountable wall that separated the opposing but complementary forces within from ever combining. Perhaps the timing was right. 
Perhaps the transformation into the true hearing my soul's undoubted voice within was the combination of all elemental forces combined with a trauma so deeply painful that the choice to stay or leave could only result in a total and complete override of all the self-defense mechanisms I previously used to protect myself from feeling pain in the most profound ways, of course. Perhaps I know when I see you as my body sleeps that your leaving served as a trigger that I accepted into transforming all that I needed to heal and release from the swamps of my own soul. As within, so without. I trust the divine timing now so implicitly that every single drop of second is precious and each breath we consciously take in and release out as you are connected to the one. Today you feel the combination of uniting forces. You feel the conscious breath and you transmute what you choose when all is aligned. Allow the gifts to expand, further igniting others into oneness realization of letting go like a child on a swing, dropping their heads back, rolling down a hill, enjoying the momentum. Enjoy the moment of the release within like specks of dirt being lifted from clothes as they are washed. Have you ever, you have been quite muddy and some clothes required repeated washing some of the stains were so grained in, you gave up the hope of ever seeing your clothes bright as the first day you received them again. Have you ever switched laundry detergents or tried a new stain remover? To be pleasantly surprised when you see a favorite article of clothing no longer has that stain and it worked? We are in the time of great purging and release. You have chosen a better way to clean and transmute and transform yourselves, like walking into a golden ray of sun and feeling the warmth upon your skin and seeing it sparkle in tiny lights pulsing out from your pores, helping to push out of your body all that no longer serves your highest good. Feel everything fully, completely, and without fear, for it is all you, every single bit of it. Sit with it all, fully feel it, and experience the sparkles of inner transmutation as it leads to the fireworks of your outer transformation. As above, so below. And you can shatter the inner mirror that only provided a one-way view and allow the inner network of crystals to restructure your reflection outward in a glorious rainbow show that can never be mistaken as fear again. Do not hide yourself any longer. Share what you know and grow. Spring is coming. So <laughs> that came through this morning. And um, I think it really relates to a lot of the core wounds that the collective is releasing right now this week. And I, I actually have a previous video on that. It's like two videos ago back on my channel. If you want to check that one out, you can hear more about what I channeled on that one from my soul. This one was um, like a pure divine connection with my inner source just pouring out. I woke up today feeling really low and sad and just just down. So I tuned in and I asked for some guidance and I asked for a way to release whatever pain and sadness I was feeling. And this just came bubbling up like, here it is. Are you going to deal with it? Um, let it go, release it, transmute it, share it, and then help activate that sparkling transmutation that we're all triggering in each other. And... Um, so yeah, so that's it. I hope that helps. And I, I could talk forever about this stuff. It's just, it's amazing, but I want to keep it short and just share with you the message that I was told to share. So thanks again for all your support guys. And, um, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>